Welcome to Now in Android, your ongoing guide to what's new and notable in the world of Android development. We just released the first two units of Android Basics with Compose, our first free course that teaches Android development with Jetpack Compose to anyone. You don't need any prior programming experience other than basic computer literacy to get started. You'll learn the fundamentals of programming in Kotlin while building Android apps using Jetpack Compose, Android's modern toolkit that simplifies and accelerates native UI development. These two units are just the beginning. More will be coming soon. Check out Android Basics with Compose to get started on your Android development journey and maybe see a familiar face. Android 13 Beta 1 includes the latest updates to Photo Picker, themed app icons, improved localization, language support, and the new notification permission, which requires apps to request the notification permission from the user before posting notifications. There are also a few new features, including more granular permissions for media file access, better error reporting in KeyStore and KeyMint, and help for media apps to identify how their audio is going to be routed. Check out the beta by visiting the Android 13 developer site. The Mad Skills Architecture series continues to roll on with technical content about modern Android development. First, Garama from GoDaddy Studio talks about entities and more specifically, how creating separate entities per layer per project leads to clean and scalable model architecture. Next, Manuel, Yeet, TJ, Milos hosted a very special architecture Q&A and answered questions from the community. Find out the answers to, is live data deprecated? MVVM or MVI for Compose, should we use flow in data sources, and more. Lastly, to wrap up the Architecture Android Mad Skills series, Manuel wrote a blog post summarizing each episode of the series. Check it out to get caught up on all things Android architecture. For ongoing content, be sure to check the Mad Skills playlist on YouTube, the articles on Medium, or the handy landing page that points to all of it. Privacy Sandbox is in the Android Developer Preview. It is a program to help you conduct initial testing of the proposed APIs and evaluate how you might adopt them for your solutions. The Developer Preview provides additional platform APIs and services on top of the Android 13 Developer Beta release, SDK, system images, preview APIs, API reference, and support references. See the release notes for more details on what's included in the release. That's it for this time with Mad Skills Architecture, Android Basics with Compose, Android 13 Beta 1, Privacy Sandbox Preview, and more. Come back here soon for the next update from the Android Developer Universe.